What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. Today I'm going back in time doing what I used to do as a kid and it is grasshoppers. I used to have a little blowgun like this. I went there, I went to Cabela's yesterday, picked up this little blowgun. It's like 18 bucks at Cabela's. Super cheap but super fun. Uh, I'm at my grandma's today. My parents live right down the road. I used to walk down here, kill grasshoppers, and then uh, there's a creek I'll show you later behind my parents' house that I'd go catch fish and uh, fry up anything I could really. Anything I could get with a blowgun or a little 22, um, I'd kill it and grill it. So we're gonna go try, we're gonna go walk out in the field, see if we can get a few grasshoppers, brought a little tub to put them in, and then we're gonna go down the creek, cook them up, and uh, show you guys how good they actually are. I know it sounds gross, but it actually is amazing. So let's get after it, see if we can get some grasshoppers. Little broadheads that they make on them now, they didn't used to have those. It's just a straight little tiny, basically wire that they put into darts. You click it in, make sure you keep your tip up so you can, uh, or it'll slide out the bottom. I don't even know if I can hit one these days. <laughs> Missed him. Right over him. Right over him. Yeah. Got him. Oh, he's injured. First grasshopper. So what you want to do with these guys, take your legs off. They have like little hooks on their legs. Pop their legs off, pop their head off, and their head comes off, pulls off with all their guts. And that's what you put in your bucket. That's one. Let's go get about uh, 50 more. Look, look at that. Told you I got him. Got a little leg stuck on there. All right, let's see if we can get some more. Ooh, ooh, got it, got it. Oh, ooh, split him in half. Oh, got him. All right, so this is what I'm talking about, guys. Little, I don't know if you can see that, but he's got little hooks on his legs. You just pull those legs off in the head, just twist it, and all the guts come out with it, just like that. Leg, and that's the good stuff right there. All right. I don't know how the grasshoppers are in y'all states that y'all are from, but Texas, every summer in Texas, it gets bad. And there's grasshoppers everywhere. So, I wonder how dragonfly tastes. There's dragonflies everywhere too. Ah. That's a good one. Ow! Got ants. Huh. Twist the head. Guts come out like that. And then your legs and wings, we can pull that stuff off later too. There we go. Got him. Smoke that one. Got him. All right. Take, <coughs> take these nasty little legs off. Those little hooks right there get caught in your throat. Twist that head. Guts come out just like that. 
and you drop them in the bucket. Alright, we're gonna get a few more. Got him. I know I hit him. Yeah, he's on there. That's a big one. He ain't as big as the ones at the ranch, but we'll take him. I don't even have to pull his head off. He comes with the... Oh, yeah, I do. Just suck it. He's ready to go. Oh, I missed it. So I just shredded this field. It's making it really hard to find them because they're just going up underneath all the stuff that I cut. Whenever it's tall grass, it's a lot easier to find them because they'll just get on the stalk of the grass that's going up. And you can shoot them that way. This way, they're just going up underneath everything I cut. Got him. I went straight through him. Yeah, pass through on the grasshopper, huh? Got him. Money shot. All right, guys, we got 10 or 15. There's not a whole lot right here, I'm surprised. We got ones at the ranch that are like two inches long and they're everywhere. Should have gone to the ranch today, but that's all right. So we're gonna head back to where I grew up, go down by the creek, cook these puppies up. So I made it back to my parents' house. I haven't been down to this creek in a really long time. It's all grown up. You can kind of see though, uh, down in there. Mom actually grew up down here in this creek and uh, they found parts of uh, mammoth bones down here and now they're in a mammoth museum, so that's pretty cool. But I used to hang out in this creek all the time. We have fire. So this is the creek that I pretty much grew up in. I used to catch perch. Uh, perch, frogs, turtles, cat. there's catfish in here. I used to come down here and catch crawfish all the time too. But when it floods, it floods. I mean, this, these banks are probably four foot high and it goes over the banks. So uh, you don't want to be down here when it's flooded. There's a little bridge down there and it would flood and all the the water would go over the bridge and it got super sketchy we'd always try to cross the bridge when it was flooding but uh we're gonna let this fire break down a little bit and then throw the pot on and start cooking some grass hot pots you can kind of see the little waterfall back there behind this behind this little stream this this creek breaks off to the left and there's a pond back there and and when I was like, I don't know, I was probably seven, I shot my first, uh, shot my first duck back there. There'd be ducks that landed in that little pond every morning. And I was like six or seven years old and I went down there with my pellet gun and uh, took my duck hunting dog down there. He died um, probably 10 years ago now, but he was my dad's favorite dog. And uh, there was two ducks on the pond. There was a beautiful green head drake and there's a beautiful ring neck drake so I ran back to the office and asked my dad I was like which one's better he's like shoot whatever you want so I went back and the ring head at the time looked prettier to me so one shot to the head with a pellet gun that ring neck brought it back and uh, we have it mounted now it's in the uh, actually I think it's up in the house if it's up there if it's not at the ranch it's up here I'll show it to you after the after we cook these grasshoppers but uh, that's a good memory in this creek for me and uh, how old do you think I was? Six or seven? I was a youngin. So this fire's starting to uh, break down a little bit. We're gonna throw the pot on and get to cooking. So all you need for grasshoppers: stick of butter, a little cast iron pan, a fire, and some critter glitter, and some grasshoppers. So we'll take this butter that's already melted from sitting in the truck. 
just like that. We're gonna go ahead. This fire's not too big, but it's hot enough to cook these guys up. So we're just gonna throw that on there. Let's get it all right. Throw it on just like that. We'll let that butter melt down real good and then we'll throw our grasshoppers in and season them up and eat good. So we got all of our grasshoppers de-headed and de-legged except for one. I gotta get him out. He keeps trying to jump out. This guy right here. Alright, so I got a little bottle of water. Probably could use the creek water, but who knows what's in there. We're just gonna rinse them around. Get anything nasty off of them. What the heck? That dude just jumped out and he's headless. He's gonna be the first one to go. Pull the legs off. Alright, first one in. Oh yeah, hear that sizzle. Alright. Yeah, and then you want to take some critter glitter. Just dust them off with some critter glitter. Not too much. They're not big. Get off a stick. Stir them around in that butter. So the closest thing that I can compare these guys to is probably popcorn. <laughs> that wind's going different directions all the time. Get them a little bit crispy. They're about done already. So that is it. Take your little toothpick or break a stick off. So you just poke your one with a toothpick. Let it cool off a little bit. Bon appetit. Hmm. It's seriously like, I know y'all are all probably watching this saying I'm disgusting and that's so gross, but it really doesn't have a taste. Like, it's not like, oh my gosh, that's so gross. It literally tastes like popcorn. Crunchy popcorn, that's what it tastes like. I wouldn't be eating them if they were that nasty. Got a little butter, butter, got a little butter to him. All right, Dad, you ate them with me when I was little too. Like old times. Tell me if it's changed. Tastes like popcorn, doesn't it? Just tastes like popcorn. It always has. Freaks yep. people out, but it's pretty awesome to do it around campground. You guys are out ever camping. Pull this on somebody, they'll think it's gross, but once they taste it, it's uh, you'll be surprised how good it, it actually is. Pretty fun today just hanging out killing some grasshoppers and you don't have to do it with a blowgun I just that's what I did when I was a kid and uh, it's pretty easy to catch them with your hands so that's gonna wrap today's video up make sure y'all stay tuned because I'm going somewhere very cool very soon and uh, there's gonna be a lot of videos coming your way. Go up thanks for watching hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up and remember eat good.